Maybe. Okay, Inez, you didn't like Jacob and his mother. Man, I live with her. I'm not sure. 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 I'm just look at me smelling like a mumu. <laughs> so sweet, you know. But the the whole picture of seeing um uh, like someone who wasn't born in whether he was born to Igbo parents or or not, the fact that he wasn't born here. And then you see how well he's able to, without mistake, that effort, that confidence to speaking um, the, the language. And this is something I like about the Igbo people. And then I've continually said it, I'm not Igbo. And um, um, I wasn't born there anyway. There's no affiliation to them, no married to any, not not none of my parents, whether grandparents are even there. But then I just like the Igbo people in this regard, of course. When we talk about uh, the bad in people's tribes and ethnic, ethnic nationalities, yes, it's everywhere. But I like the beautiful thing about it, but their respect for culture and tradition and how they ensure that they have links back home, certainly. There is no reason why the parents of this uh, beautiful, uh, handsome boy, brilliant, of course, would be teaching Igbo when they're already in a foreign country. They would, a lot of tribes would have distant cuts away from um, their tribes when they get out of the country. Of course, I traveled out of Nigeria before I realized that <laughs> everybody in Nigeria, every parent in Nigeria is forcing their children to speak in Queen's English. Is ensuring that their children speak good English. But merely you cross the sea and come over abroad, you begin to feel like you should force your children to also speak a native dialect. It's just the, <laughs> it's just, it's just ironic. But, but again, the beautiful thing about Igbo, and then it's not just about you see their children I, I've, I've traveled a bit a couple of places and i've been here for a while and i see how well i have a friend um in the same um, in the same um, country whose children of course very young he, he, he communicates to them in Igbo deliberately and he wants them to understand that i think the closest tribe the closest tribe uh, that i've seen trying to exhibit that same style is the Asian people, the Asian people, I don't know. So just like the Igbo, people do not like you say Igbo, some say Igbo. Now, so Asian, Asian, they confuse. So I use the two whenever I want to, so that anyone who you like, you pick for this. I don't know which one is correct. Again, make, you know, you want to do good to a person that you talk to. Now, the one where you not talk well, now they'll come and say, it's not Asian, it's Asian. So it's the Asian, Asian people of it. They also do the same. And that's the same thing that they do when it comes to festivities, holidays, they go back home. As, as rugged as the country is, this man took his family back home at least let them go and experience um their culture look at how he has taught them but this beautiful thing about the Igbo people i repeat the beautiful thing about them honoring their culture and tradition, trying to ensure that they pass on the legacy of uh, the value the pride that which they carry themselves it's just something very beautiful and it's not just about speaking or the culture and even see the okay, the culture of 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 um financial multiplication or passing on to the the, uh, the wealth and the distribution of wealth is also very well there like i said i think i was i was doing a program in um in 2016 i was doing a program um in a u.s um based um institute online and then part one of uh the key component of the courses that we we're doing was discussing and analyzing the culture of wealth distribution in the Igbo land of Nigeria. I'm not even joking. And then it was huge, huge, huge. And then I, I saw, and it's, whether these guys are trained or they are educated or not, 
it's just almost like a normal to see someone an evil big man pass on the baton to another person whether it's his child or anybody it's just easy and it it just grows if you are ego and you're watching me this is an ego appreciation post i will not tell you to share it so you don't think i'm trying to um, use this for clap i'm just saying thank you for you guys i appreciate what you guys do actually it's really enticing and captivating to see how you see this little chap now for example a lot of tribes let me not call names nearly they get the crossover I get into buses, um, for example, when I move around, I see how well Igbo people rap Igbo and all that. No matter how many years, I have a friend who have been, who've been in the US for 15 years. You could still feel the strong accent. You know, it is only Nigeria where accent is almost like a crime. They don't want you to sound in your... Even the South Korean, South Africans, the, the British, the Americans, they sound American, they sound British, right? And then it is only in Nigeria you want to apply for a job. They want you to sound British because they want to give you a job in Nigeria. Go to South Africa. All the super sports reporters and presenters and hosts are hearing. I can't you for one just hear them and say, but in Nigeria somebody can and it's good though, it's good. It makes it makes communication easy. It makes you also be able to acclimatize and fit in or adapt into any new society you get involved with. But again, respect to the Igbo people for holding on their own and of course there are the bad things that are, it's not today to talk about it maybe as i've said the good things i'll look for one day to talk about the bad things so that you guys can also remove your hand from it but this is beautiful beautiful i love it i love it don't you love it <laughs>